Today's story is called Enemies Outside. Passover celebration lasted a full week. Every night Jesus went back to Bethany, but by day he taught in the temple courts. The religious leaders were growing more and more determined to silence Jesus once and for all. They didn't trust Jesus, they didn't like what he was doing. Two days before Passover supper, they called a meeting of the 70 strong council. The chairman was the high priest, Caiaphas, and the meeting was held in his house. We must arrest Jesus, he told them. But he's so popular that we shall have to do it secretly or risk a riot. That means waiting until after Passover when the crowds have gone. But Jesus knew more than his enemies about what was going to happen. This Passover, I'm going to be handed over to the Romans to be crucified, he told his disciples. Here's Jesus' special friends, the disciples. He knew what was gonna happen. As Jesus was teaching the people, the religious leaders joined the crowd and began to ask questions. They hoped to trap Jesus into saying something that would get him into trouble. Do you think we should pay our taxes to the Romans or not? They asked. They knew that if Jesus said yes, he would not be popular with the people. But if he said no, they could report him to the Roman rulers. They were sure that they had caught him out. Hand me a coin, Jesus said. When someone passed a coin to Jesus, Jesus held it up. Here we go. There's the coin. Whose head is on the coin? He asked. Caesar, replied. Caesar's, they replied. Then give Caesar what you owe to him and give God what you owe to him. Jesus had escaped their trap, but he had not given a trick answer. He had just told them what was right and true. The Jews owed much to their Roman rulers. They provided them with roads and water to keep peace between nations, but they owed far more to God. And so the people had to do the right thing with their money, which was to give, give it to the Roman rulers at times so that they could mend their cities and their roads, but also to give things to God. And the thing is, when Jesus was in the temple teaching, the religious rulers always wanted to show to play tricks on Jesus and catch him out because they didn't like how many people were beginning to follow Jesus. All these people were beginning to, to really have a wonder about who Jesus was and could start to see the amazing miracles that he did. And that made the religious leaders feel threatened that they thought that people would prefer Jesus to them. And so Jesus had a tough time when the people were against him and they tried to trick him into breaking love. The religious leaders were actually the ones who were breaking love. They were showing the broken love, not Jesus, because Jesus was a part of God and he was full of love. So Jesus couldn't show any broken love. He had so much love in him that he was going to give his life to take all of the broken love away. Now, when people say sorry to Jesus, they would have to they would not have to pay the price of the broken love things that they do because Jesus was doing that for them. I wonder what things we need Jesus to do for us today. Dear God, thank you that we have so many stories in the Bible that teach us about your love. Please help us to show love as much as we can, even when we have enemies that want to do broken love things and trick us. So I wonder today what you could ask Jesus to help you with. Remember, the Holy Spirit is always ready. We just need to remember to ask for God's help all of the time. <laughs>